Weather expecting to get chilly and rainy and snowy and a whole bunch of stuff in the next few days. The trick or treaters and their parents are looking for some indoor alternatives. Adam Varahachakal checked out a few of those options. He joins us now in the newsroom with the details. Adam. Well, there are a few options. One in particular is the National Automobile Museum, which is offering a safe trick or treating option, all while getting to see some historical cars. Just a safe, secured, controlled environment to where uh, we've also got local businesses that are making sure it's, it's, it's candy that's, that's safe for the kids. And we've tried to create an environment that is as worry free as possible for parents. Yeah, there will be about 20 candy stations set up around the museum. There's also games and magic shows inside the theater. Now, last year, about 2,000 kids came out, and local businesses are working together to put this on to make sure it's a safe and fun experience for them. And once again, it's all happening tomorrow from 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. inside the museum at 10 South Lake Street in downtown Reno. Admission is just $2, and for more information on that, call the number on your screen at 333-9300. And meanwhile, you can get some free candy at the Nevada Humane Society at 2825 Longley Lane in Reno, and that's tomorrow from 4 to 6.30 p.m. And for a complete list of safe trick-or-treating options, head to our website at ktvn.com. Covering the story live in the newsroom, Adam Barahachikol, Channel 2 News. All right.